dear learner now we'll create slab for our structure to create slab for our structure i will go to a structure then floor okay from floor i'll go to i'll go here floor structural so as a structural floor we'll do it i will click here now we'll go for next step so from here you have to select the properties which types of metal rope deck then concrete with metal deck then beam and block generic concrete concrete domestic or generic so we'll use the generic as our concrete or uniform layer so i'll use generic 300 mm i'll go here edit and so what is the meaning of 300 mm thickness that means 12 inch so our thickness of slab is 5 inch that means 125 mm i'll go duplicate i can give it a slab 20 on 25 mm click ok and click here edit and from here on 25 mm okay and here for a structure one materials by category if you want to change it you can change it as per your requirement so here uh, you will get if you go to the concrete section concrete in place gray you can select it if you want like that okay and uh, if you click okay just see concrete have been selected now this is the structural metal click ok apply then ok you see here a floor slab of 125 mm have been selected now select boundary line and there are many options actually there are many options to draw your slab so if you take that option create a straight line and slab will be created you can go for rectangular option say if you click here and move your mouse like that and click here a rectangular portion have been created and if you click here slab will be created but i'll press ctrl z i'll not use that option so i'll go through that that option right now because in that here we have no slab okay now uh, and by clicking here 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 uh, here and here if i click okay a slab will be created and to go to ready to confirm it see a slab have been created now here or slab but see here uh, the portion of a staircase are not opened it's also covered with slabs so what we'll do actually i'll go again level two i'll press okay after coming here select the slab here so to select slab go to 3d and here uh, we have to select our slab so after clicking here if you are not able to select your slab press tab mm. see after uh, multiple time press slab uh, a tab tab button and when you will see the slab boundary have been selected then click and slab will be selected and go to level 2 again in the same way you can select slab from here okay tab a 
okay now go to 3d and actually okay use it is use wireframe or use line to select our slab option and um, after that press delete to delete it go to level 2 and here now we'll again create our slab to create slab another way i will just go to a structure then load a structural float slab already selected now i will use that line boundary line from here sorry from that point to that point here done and click okay see a slab have been created okay in this way we are able to uh, modify our member and they have another thing to do it so again go to um modify and from modify uh, okay go to types of property and structure from structural plan check okay so uh, sometimes you can see uh, from level view you are not able to sorry for disturbance uh, sometimes you will see that you are not able to select the slab in level view okay so to do it just simply come here and you will see a option select element by face i'll click here and then simply click that slab the slab will be selected okay so uh, when we are here now if we need to modify a slab we can do it how we can do it let's double click and now say uh, i want to draw a slab here so what we'll do simply i'll take another line from that point to that point and select that line and delete select and delete select and delete and just click apply see a slab slab will be created over the member right now again go to level two and uh, if i want to modify that again so in this way select the slab double click go here and take line from that point to that point here select this sorry escape select this one and delete again click here so see in this way we are able to create any slab and we are able to modify any slab right now we'll go for the next step so what is the next step we have some extension as per our plan so if we go to floor plan we can see in that in that side we have no extension but in that side we have some extension so we have to create it how we'll create it as previous we have created that we'll go for it now to create it we need uh, the dimension from center of the member in that side three feet and nine inch Forty five M uh, inch so into twenty five that means one thousand one hundred and twenty five millimeter. So to do it, I will 
go to ready with again click slab double click on slab and uh go here just click here and from that point click on that direction what was the value value was one on two five so in that direction click one on two five enter again go in that direction okay how much again i'll go to a rotocat and here i'll take its distance from that point to that point eight feet and four inch so eight into twelve plus four into twenty five two five zero zero we'll go to revit and in that direction we'll go two five zero zero enter now in that direction we have to go for some distance so again go to autocad and from autocad click here to here one feet and one inch that means 13 three to five go to revit and in that direction we'll go to three to five done now again we'll go in that direction how much we'll go to autocad from autocad we'll take this distance here six feet six in six point five so six point five into twelve into twenty five so one nine nineteen fifty go to revit good done again it will go here and here and here done now i will escape again escape and select that one and delete right and click here okay so you do not save it project recently save done and if we go in preview sorry if we go in realistic see here our slab have been dropped now again go to level two and we are completely ready to replicate our this model okay so thank you thank you very much